What's up, Gundam fam? Welcome back to the channel, or if you are new, welcome to our channel, guys. My name is Nicole, aka Mama Ko. Today, I have a special video for you guys. I'm going to be making Japanese curry, beef curry to be exact. It is funny, I used to live in Japan, so I have been craving me some curry. Also, the girls have been a little sicky, so I think that might help. A lot of people always comment, oh my gosh, you lived in Japan, and oh my gosh, you lived in Hawaii. Yes, I lived in both. There is one person here on YouTube who caught on. Her name is Miss Tiffany Jetter. She is so sweet and so amazing. You guys gotta go show her love and go subscribe to her channel. But she did guess that I was a military brat, so yes, I am a military brat. I was very lucky enough to live in Japan and Hawaii. I might make a more in-depth video about that maybe a whole story time about being a military brat having a dad in the military it was pretty amazing i cannot lie i had a great childhood but for now i am craving some good japanese curry and we are going to make it here at home i'm going to show you guys how to make it what you need and let's get started so here is everything you need i am using minute rice i really wish i had a rice cooker but minute rice does its job um if you don't know how to do minute rice you literally just boil water add your rice let it cook for a minute let it steam and your rice is done so that is nice to have i always keep it on hand so we have minute rice for dinner and then here is your main ingredients for curry you will definitely need this golden curry package i think they sell like two different um kinds this is the one i got medium hot um, you will find it in like the Asian section at the grocery store. I got this one at Walmart. We have carrots, potatoes, an onion, and here is some beef that just got defrosted. So we are going to put the meat to cook on the oven for now while I chop and peel the potatoes and then add the onion. Basically, to make curry, it says stir fry the meat vegetables with oil for five minutes. And then you will add water, bring to a boil, reduce the heat, and cook for 15 more minutes. Then you will turn the heat off and break down the curry pieces into your skillet and stir until it is melted and serve over hot rice. So that's what we're gonna do and let me show you guys. Best buddy, best buddy, best buddy. So here I have peeled everything. Now I'm going to chop um, this stuff up and then add it to the meat that is cooking in the pot. If it were up to me, when I make mashed potatoes, I keep the skin on my potatoes because it is so much work to peel. My neck is only the meat. The mom makes me lunch. I just asked for it right now. Yeah. Every day. She loves lunch. I definitely need more carrots. Yeah, you do. So I'm making two and a half cups of minute rice. You will boil two and a half cups of water and then add two and a half cups of rice. The same measurements. So now it says to cook the meat and vegetables for five minutes together. Also, I'm a little bit in a time crunch because Zaraya gets out of school soon in 30 minutes, so. Okay, so that has been cooking for five minutes all together. Now I'm going to add two and a half cups of water. So now we are adding two and a half cups of water and then we are going to let that boil for 15 minutes. Now we are going to add in our curry. This is what the curry looks like. It smells delicious. We're just going to throw it in. It even cracks the packaging. So now it says to turn off the heat and melt that in so now that is what it looks like it says to simmer for five more minutes and then turn it off I unfortunately have to go pick up my child so it's gonna cook a little bit longer hubby is home five more minutes turning it off and I will show you what it looks like when we come back I'm home from picking up my daughter here is the curry 
I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing, so amazing. I am eating at 3.30 today, yes. So I'm gonna show you guys my plate. I'm starving, it smells so good. And dinner is served. Here is Japanese curry made at home. It tastes like kind of like a sweet, not sweet, but a sweeter beef stew on white rice. So good. Definitely recommend if you haven't tried to try it. And I'm going to eat starving. Gotta go. Bye.